You're right guys, going back again. This is going to be the fourth time I tried recording this video because the last couple of times I couldn't start it right and then when I just as I got it just done, the battery died in my camera. So, great. Hello. Uh, if you saw my last video, it was on a mystery box uh, called uh, Model Box, which basically each month they send out... Uh, miniatures, paints, painting supplies, like a, a decent little mystery box for war gamers and miniature painters. Um, personally, I'm more into the painting side of things. I keep buying games, but uh, let has got to be honest with myself, probably never actually going to play them. I just really like painting. I really do. Um... So, for example, last month, last couple of weeks, uh, I've been focusing on uh, the Gene Stealer cult. Uh, if my account, if my phone, just, 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 just focus. That's all I want. There we go. So uh, I've been painting this guy for a couple of weeks. I say a week, week and a half. I just finished off the base. So that's that's quite nice. And uh, so there's that one there. Sometimes I have to think me and this camera are going to get on at one point. Can't see. No. Yeah. That's 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 a good good bit of blur in the background. Yeah. So I finished these guys. I was quite happy with that. More happy with this guy, to be fair. I'm getting there. Well, I'm quite happy with the basing. Uh, just in case. Just in case uh, you didn't know, that's uh, Gene Stealer, Cult, Brood Coven. But uh, anyway, that's the main focus of this video. Try again, model box. I have opened it. I have already got things out of the plastic. So uh, what I'm going to do is flip over to the other camera. I'm going to get things in front of this camera, which is now facing in the right direction and adequately lighted. And hopefully this will be good. If not, I apologise. And hopefully the next video will be better. So, model box. Last month was uh, sci-fi. That was the theme. And uh, that came with the exclusive. Ah, so let's get zoom back in. That came with the exclusive uh, space rocks. So uh, I made, I made and painted painted that with uh, the bits that came in the box, apart from the grass. I already had the grass. So uh, I was quite happy with how that came out. It was the first non-games workshop thing I've painted. So uh, yay. Not so, not so much with the, the little alien thing. Focus. Although looking at this through the camera now, it actually looks all sort of all right. But uh, again, it was fun. Anyway, uh, we're going to swap over to the other camera and uh, run through the box. I think I can just flash my address to the world. Anyway, right. I'm just going to put that in my lap because I've just realised there's addresses all over it. If you remember from the last video, uh, there was a bit of a mess up with the paints that you received in that box. Some of us ended up with two of the same colours, uh, which I was like, unfortunately for me, uh, I ended up with two okras. So I emailed them, and they very politely and very kindly said that uh, in the next box, uh, there would be an extra colour thrown in. 
So I was quite happy to find that uh, there was. So this is War Games Foundry with the Foundry paint system. Uh, war, I'm going to read from the little card. War Games Foundry are the featured paints in this month's box. They boast a range of 350 individual colours arranged in sets of three and come in 20 milliliter pots. The free shade system easily allows you to find the correct shades and also allows you to correct, correctly layer up your colours. So I got raw linen, Russian gun apple green, and that's on the floor. Hey, go back. So yeah, Russian gun apple green, and vivid blue light. Nice. Because this old style pots is sort of like what I'm used to with a very old Citadel paints. Awesome. Okay. Next up, we're going to get the, the Harry Bow out. So my daughter's going to love me today. Put it over there. And we've got a model box measuring device. So quite cool. Um, like I said, I, I'm never going to really play any of the things I buy. But I hope to. Do you like the painting though? That's quite nice. I've got grass all over the back because I've dropped some a pot of it earlier. That's a nice, nice little Perspex measuring device. And uh, here we go, right. Sorry, like I said, I opened this earlier and I've taken some bits out and uh, I've lost the bags already because I'm absolutely useless. Right, go on, go there. So, next on the card Ancient Greece Ruin Bases by Alien Lab Creator. Here is the label. Label, label, label. Label. Alienlab.store. And here. Here are the bases. Pop them there. They look really nice. Again, my, my knowledge of things that aren't Games Workshop is pretty limited. So, to me... These do look nice. I mean, there's like mosaic ruin floor. There's sort of ancient Greek sort of motif. I don't know whether they... Sh Is that just like a natural crack? Or did that break at something? It kind of adds. It adds to it. I'm just intrigued as to whether they, did they deliberately break it and then put it on there. A little sort of Roman... Greek skull uh, helmet design. Not bad. These 32mm resin bases from Alien Lab Creator are perfect for heroes in Mortal Gods or for Rocks the Hot Light. You can either paint them to look like ancient ruins or bright, or bright and clean to give the impression they've only recently been damaged. After all, ruins weren't always ruins. Oh, no, no, so I've just, just noticed that uh, the crack is on there in the little picture, which means it's supposed to, so it's all good. That's quite nice. And then Alien Labs creator. I'll check those out. Um, here is... Now, I've probably been butchering him. This is Alkaos the Cypriot, Shield of Zeus from War Banner. Uh, Alkaos the Cypriot was created just for your model box members, or just for you model box members, which can be used for War Banner's newest game, Mortal Gods. Mortal Gods is a skirmish game set in ancient Greece during the Greco-Persian War. Alkaos is a mercenary and can be used in any Mortal Gods army. You'll also find our Chaos card for Mortal Gods. Find out more at mortalgods.co.uk. And here's a card. I like the model. I'm, I like 
ancient history. So Greek, I like Greek myths more. So this, this is actually something I could be very interested in painting. It is metal as well. So you got uh, our chaos, looking all our chaosy. That's quite nice. And then you got uh, shield and his spear. Spear's a little bit uh, bent out of shape, but that's fine. I can sort that there. Tidy that up a bit. I do like the shield. I do like uh, Zeus's face as it uh, emerges. Yeah, that does look nice. And there's a little metal base there, so if you imagine it all goes on there like that. Uh, Mortal Gods, a test of courage. Makers of the finest, War Banner, makers of the finest 28mm gaming miniatures. We only make miniatures we would game with. Maybe harmful if chewed. Love those messages. And then obviously, the last thing you might have remember I mentioned it and talking about the bases, uh, Rocks of Hot Lights. Obviously, last month they had uh, Space Marine Rocks, and this month it's Rocks of Hot Lights. How close can I get? That seems like a decent distance. Oh, it does look nice. I'll be very happy to start painting that later. We'll definitely need to clean it up a little bit though. But nice. Very nice. Now, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll get this on the other camera. There you go, Rocks of Hoplite. Muck rocks the model box fox as a Greek warrior. Well, that does look nice. Yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah. Have some fun with that one. And then there was some flyers. There's one war manga miniatures dot com. Not suitable for children under the age of 15. May contain lead and sharp points, but may be harmful if chewed or swallowed. Warmonger miniatures, orcs, goblins, trolls, dwarves, elves, and such like. Nice. And then there's about Foundry. Hmm. I've got a big list of what they do. So, in any case, that, oh, got the old uh, light in. <sighs> so that was uh, Mortal Gods, it's a February box. I liked it. I, I generally, looking f I look forward to uh, working on these. Uh, next month's box is Medieval. Mm, can I focus in on that? Sort of. Sort of. But no. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you didn't, let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Until then, catch you later.